settle down, guys. Grab your snack because the last match is about to start. The loser's final, best of five, between Matsu and Takuzo. And the free band will be none other than Oliver Moore, to the strongest, most popular last pick in Summoners of Sky Arena RTA right now in every single rank possible. First pick for Takuzo, he'll be revenging his guilty in this game. Uh, I feel like they, they, they all, they're all from the same guild. <laughs> Jamaya first pick for Takuzo here. What is Masters gonna do to deal with his Jamaya first pick that is so open-ended, you don't even know what he's trying to do. That's gonna be the Yonhong first pick for, Taku for Masu and potentially a speed leader. He's thinking about it. He's gonna go for Yonhong Mouse for some high speed chase, big damage, aggressive turn one, potentially together with a Raccoonie. And the response to that will be the Praha potentially into a Ethna as well, trying to take that turn one back to him. Takuza with the AoE defense break and the follow-up damage from the Ethna can be quite dangerous for the Yonhong and the mouse of Masu. So what will we do? Is he gonna pick up a fire healer? Maybe a segment to try to reset the Praha and now speed the segment? I mean the Ethna. It's gonna be Raccoonie and Juno, two of the strongest fire units getting picked up by Matsu. We might be seeing some sort of Suiki coming up here to deal with this. No, it's gonna be some heavy damage with the Nikki and the Narsha. This match is about to end very, very quickly because both players are being very aggressive here. So will Masu pick up a damage dealer? Or will he go for another healer like Abelio to try and cut in between? But from my experience, going with more healer right now will just make you a punching bag for Takuzo. So it's gonna go for Volante to try to disturb the enemy, cutting in between, strip, glancing, provoke, and stop them in their track. So is it gonna be the Nikki ban? Because the attack buff will make Nasha and Ethna insane. That's gonna be a Nikki ban and Raccoonie ban, putting some respect on the three star unit in the midst of Yon Hong and Volantis. Raccoonie will be the ban. And here we go, guys. Can Takuzo? Go in straight with some big damage or will Masu survive and return all the fire with his Volantis? The Yonho actually gonna take the first turn here because the Ethna is possibly gonna be on violent, boosting the Volantis attack bar, allowing him to go for the strip and provoke. He's gonna get the despair stun on the most important target, the Jamaya, so that it won't be able to cleanse the entire team. The Mouse gonna go for the stun there, but couldn't get the stun on the Ethna, and the Ethna finally gonna get a turn here. But if she get revenge by Volantis, this might be bad. But she's gonna go for it anyway, get revenge and eat the stun from the Volantis. Yeah, you know, half damage available, and that's gonna be a lot of damage on this Ethna. Ethna's probably gonna go down. Oh, not yet! The Jamai is gonna get a violent pro, and the Praha is gonna go in for the big heal, and the Ethna is gonna be back to almost full HP. Juno, will you go for the strip? No, gonna let the enemy team have the speed buff because you don't want to wake up the Praha. But that also means the Ethna is gonna be lapping the enemy team and that's gonna do a lot of damage onto the Yonhong right there. Yonhong's not gonna go down just yet and the Volant is gonna try to buy some time. Despair stunning the Jamaya here. But is that gonna be enough because the Narsha is gonna go for the finishing move and that's gonna be on the Mouse. Mouse is gonna go down to the Narsha and the Yonhong is gonna go down to the Praha. This might be GG. So much damage coming from Takuzo. And there's nothing much you can do to stop it. No hero can in between. And the Juno is going to be the last one surviving soon. Volantis out of skill and might be the next target for this Narsha. Praha looking for the target. That's going to be the Juno here. You don't want to touch the Volantis because the revenge can stun you. And he's going to stun the Narsha. But Narsha is going to violent for out of stun. Putting the defense back, back on the Volantis. Volantis is going to revenge stun again on the Nasha. Jeremiah is doing so much damage on this Volantis. Volantis is going to be eating even more damage from the Praha. Can Volantis stop this Praha or Jeremiah from moving any further? Is he going to do it? He's going to disperse on the Praha. No Valent Praha from the Nasha right there. Juno 
going in through Jamaya, get the dispersion as well. Volantis has skill to available. Can he triple dispersion? He will not dispersion a single person. And Nasha's gonna take down the Volantis. Juno, the last one standing. But remember, Juno can be a real, real threat. We have seen this before on Juno 1v3. It can happen. Just kidding. Pra has heal going. And that's gonna be speed buff for the Nasha as well. And this Nasha has the damage from the skill too as well. And that's gonna be a lot of damage. And GG! Takuza will take game one! So much damage coming out from Takuza. I love this team! Get ready for round two. It's about to happen, guys. Will Takuza keep the momentum and pick up more aggressive draft and trying to beat Masu as fast as possible? Because we know Masu can be a real bruiser player if he wants to. Yes, round two, we'll be seeing some sort of Yon Hong Nikki pre ban because here comes the Narshan Lima pre ban taking away Takuzo, biggest damage dealer in the previous game. Narsha, first pick for Masu. Is he gonna take the Mora first pick and go for the turn one? He's gonna go for the 33 lead instead, and that's gonna be Oliver first pick for Masu. Takuzo, will you still lock in the Jemaya segment for the first turn possession? He's gonna lock in the Jemaya Yonhong. He also have Yonhong and he's gonna steal it away from Matsu. So Matsu will have to go for a different high base speed unit this time. It can be Ethna, Segment, Mouse. There are many different things he can go for. Which one is he gonna pick up? Or is he gonna lock in the Mouse Rakuni combo as well? It's going to be Karno and Shizuka for Matsu. There's no strip on Matsu team just yet. And Juno is going to get selected to deal with the Shizuka and potentially the diva from the Karno as well. Is he going to steal the Praha as well? And take all the Oracle away from Matsu? It's going to be Rakuni for Takuzo. It's going a bit safer this time. Locking in more healers instead of aggressive damage dealer like last game because Matsu is looking like he's gonna go for the turn two and being very tanky as well. We might be seeing some sort of Tessarian Fire Monkey King here because they are extremely effective into Takuzo draft and that's gonna be Tessarian and Masha getting picked up by Matsu. He's gonna show Takuzo that even him can use a Beast Rider to destroy the enemy. And what can Masu Takuzo do in the last pick here? It's gonna go for a heavy water last pick. And that's gonna be the mouse. But he have to ban the Shizuka because there's no cooldown reset unit. And you can't let the Shizuka go crazy. But he's gonna ban the Thessarian and the mouse is gonna get banned. But how is he gonna deal with the Shizuka? Even with the Juno, the debuff is gonna be extremely effective, especially setting up the defense break for the Masha to finish off the enemy target. But what if the Masha go down very quickly due to the damage of the Yon Hong and the Juno? And the Masha is almost dropping from her beast. The Raccoonie is gonna boost a unit attack bar 
and that's gonna finish off the Masha. But no, oh my god, he almost, he almost <laughs> missed the kill on the Masha. But the Violent Burst is gonna be enough to take down the Masha Beast here. Without the Beast, there's gonna be no defense break, and that's gonna lose a lot of damage from the son of Matsu. Takuzo might be taking the lead here. Shizuka dropping the debuff, giving the Juno the speed buff that she needs. And there's no slow debuff coming out from this because the Karno hasn't taken a turn just yet. Karno's gonna drop his own slow debuff and a lot of damage on the enemy team as well. But the Juno is gonna use all that debuff to heal back to full HP. This Masha is about to go down very soon. But remember, a dead Masha is not a useless Masha when there's a Shizuka around. As long as you can set up some sort of defense break for her, she can still come back to life and kill. And right now, even before she drops, she will take the Yon home with her, not going down alone, Masha said. Shizuka probably gonna put the soul protection on his Masha to give her another chance of surviving. No, gonna put the soul protection onto the Karno and reduce its cooldown. And the Yon Hong is actually gonna be the one that dropped first in this game, but Masha is gonna go down as well right now. This Masu team is still very, very tanky and there's no direct damage on anyone on the side of Masu. This Oliver saying that and this Oliver is taking a lot of damage from both the Juno and the Jemaya here. And this Karno doesn't have skill to stop the enemy from moving just yet, but he can still provoke and bind this Oliver some time. But seeing this Juno doing some massive damage every single turn, I'm not sure if how long this Oliver can stay on the field. Shizuka stealing all the attack power from the Juno, stopping her from moving further. And she's going to revive the Masha potentially to take down the Juno. But no skill 2 for the Masha. She used it before she died. So no defense break coming up. This Masha only a quick slow debuff onto the Dragon. Remember the Karno has skill 3 available. But is that going to be enough to stop the Juno? Juno moving in. Not finishing off the Oliver just yet because he doesn't. she doesn't have the speed buff. But now she will. The slow debuff is on the Juno. Raccoon is going to cleanse the dragon, doing damage on the Oliver. And Juno, can she take down this Oliver before he take down the dragon? Oliver going straight into the Jemaya, get the attack bar. But Juno is going to follow up after that to finish off the Oliver. 2v3, but Karno can be... Oh, that revenge is spare stun onto the Shizuka. How dare you touch me, Juno said. And she's gonna shut down the Shizuka for one turn. This is very big because when you despair stun revenge somebody, that you have to move an entire turn just to cleanse the stun away. So that was almost a two turn control on that Shizuka. And Rakuni is doing everything he can to keep this dragon alive. And the dragon's doing some massive damage onto the Karno. The Juno is doing some massive damage on the Karno as well. This might be bad if the Karno doesn't violent from because the Juno is going to hit everybody back to full HP. And she's going to have speed buff as well. That's going to do a lot of damage on the Karno. And the Karno will not proc a violent. And the Juno is going to strip all the buff on the side of Masu. The dot damage is too much to handle. Shizuka have the skill to available, but remember Takuzo team is full HP right now with the Juno heal, but the Masha have skill to available, going straight but could not finish off the Juno. The Karno will gonna go for the skill 3, heal the Juno and kill himself at the same time with the dot damage. Shizuka will now stand alone against the Dragon and the Raccoonie, and one might say Raccoonie is even stronger than the Dragon at this point because he can heal himself. The Dragon will destroy the Shizuka and 2-0 for Takuzo! Oh my god, that Juno damage was out of this world. So much damage. Takuzo is on his momentum, riding this wave. Finishing this game 3-0 potentially. We are going into game three between Matsu and Takuzo, and it might be the final game of today's matches.
can Masu come back from the lowest position here? 2-0 in the best of five. This is gonna be very, very hard for him. But hey, if one thing I know about Summoner's World, that is anything is possible. Game 3, Starto. The pre band will be on Nikki and the Water Ryu. First pick for Takuzo, no Ricky this no Nikki this time, which means less much less damage, but he can use the Narsha and maybe with a different attack buffer. It's gonna be all of our first pick for Takuzo. Matsu no no longer having the Water Ryu, he's gonna steal the Jamaya Yonhan first two pick coming out from Takuzo last time. So what's gonna be the answer? You are in the position that, oh, this time it's gonna take the Juno early, not exactly countering anyone just yet, but a strong unit in general. Oh my God, he's actually taking a page out of Matsu's book with the, with the Juno Praha early pick to Oracle. Holding hands into the final. One being a great damage dealer, the other being a great healer and a damage dealer at the same time as well. So what's going to be the answer for Matsu? He stole your favorite unit. How can you let him steal your girl like that, Matsu? And that's going to be the Tessarian potentially. It's going to be a Masha and the Raccoon coming out from Matsu. So he has damage, he has healing, but... This will be a great position to pick some water unit for Takuzo and that's going to be the mouse with a speed buff from the Pra is going to be extremely deadly. And the Nasha last pick is not a bad idea. And that's going to be the Nasha last pick for Takuzo as well, locking in a lot of aggressive damage dealer here, which means Masu, you can't even pick Leo to counter the speed of the enemy because you are locking in some sort of speedy team here. So he has to go for something different and that might be a Karno and a Belio or something that can keep the team alive. Or maybe it can be aggressive with an Ethna as well if he chooses to do so. That's going to be a Tessarian last pick for Matsu trying to kill that Narsha while she's on her beast. So is it going to be a Raccoonie ban? It might be a Raccoonie ban. It might be the only crazy healer. Yonhan is a great healer, but she might have to use her heal for the boost instead of healing. It's going to be a Yonhan ban. It's going to be the mouse ban. Matsu will have his damage dealer, but Takuzo with the with the Narsha and the Praha can be very scary as well. First stun belongs to the Juno. Will she despair stun the entire enemy team like Eric gets stunned? No! Only one stun though, but that was, not, that was more than enough to allow the Praha to sleep the entire enemy team. Nasha looking for a target here. Which one will it be? That will be the Masha dropping her from the beast instantly with the skill 2. Oliver with the skill 3 available. Probably gonna go for Raccoon. No, gonna go straight into the Masha. Taking the Masha skill 2 away as well. Allowing Raccoon to boost with skill 2. But now without the, the beast, Masha is severely weakened. Not doing enough damage. Boosting the Jemaya, hoping for a violent prop maybe. But nothing really happened right there. Oliver missed the reset on the Thessalian. But the Nasha would not miss this chance to kill the Masha. And the Fire Beast Riders out of the game. And the next target will be the Thessalian. Thessalian will need to take down the Nasha right now. Because that was whole... Oh my god, he did too much damage! And he accidentally killed the Beast before he could oblivion the Beast. And the Nasha was still going to be in the fight providing more damage for Takuzo. And this, this sounds in trouble. 
This Nasha is still doing very good damage, and the Tessan's down to his knee. He's only having a little bit of HP left, and Rakuni is not going to be able to heal him in time, potentially. The Dragon is now going to have the reset available, but will he do it? He needs to get it done. Nope, he's not going to do it. And the Tessan's going to go down to the Praha damage. The Dragon will be the last damage dealer, but without defense break, he won't be hurting too much. And remember, the Juno is now on to him. And this is how Takuzo show you how to train the Dragon. Constantly dropping the damage on this Dragon. Eating so much damage, even Rakuni can't keep you alive. And that is something that you have to talk about in 2023 when Rakuni can't be enough to keep you alive. You are in deep, deep trouble. More damage from the dragon. The dragon's taking all the damage possible. The Juno, the Praha, and the dragon will go down. And Takuzo will be moving on to the APAC Regional Cup, beating Matsu 3-0. A clean final for Takuzo.